hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and on today's video i am going to be making a dress so it's finally summer now here in south africa and for me summer means dresses and it's the holidays coming soon and we're also going on holiday which is really really exciting so i'm going to be making quite a few of items so hopefully i will film everything because it's it's kind of a lot i have like five items that i'm planning on making this coming two weeks before december first item that i'm going to be making today is the milkmaid dress i've always wanted one i'm using the mode anthea dress i've already printed the pattern and cut it i also made like a mock-up and it fits perfectly so i'm going to be using this it's like a dark yellow mustardy color fabric rayon it has like a really really nice movement so it does have like this little um detailing to it which is really really pretty and i have two meters of this and i also have lining fabric which matches the main fabric and i have two meters as well and i have a zipper because you need a zipper thread so those are all the things that i'm going to be using for this dress and i am so excited i'm just gonna go ahead and cut i know it's gonna take me a while because this one does have like a lot of <laughs> a lot of pieces so here are all the pieces that i've cut out as you can see it's actually a lot of pieces on this dress first we have the two pieces of the shoulder this is just the fabric only and then we have two pieces of the front bodies which is one fabric and one lining and we have the side bodies which is actually four pieces so um two fabric and two lining and we have the back bodies which is also four pieces two lining and two fabric and another side back bodies which is the fabric and lining so two two and here we have the front panel this is the bust panel it's only the fabric piece and then i have the sleeves two sleeves here and it's just the fabric and here i have the skirts the skirts they're the ones with like a lot of pieces so um because i'm thinking of also lining the skirt part is like double so the front piece is also the back piece so there's one piece in the front and two pieces in the back and then we also have the lining for that so we have uh six we have six pieces for the front and back skirt this is the side skirt pieces which is four pieces which then makes it eight pieces so of four of the fabric and four of the lining so first i am just going to start by joining all the three uh, bodies pieces this is the front bodies the side bodies and the back and i'm also doing the same for the lining fabric And here are they done i've pinned together the um, shoulder piece and also make sure that when you're pinning the shoulder piece the raw edges are facing the armhole i actually made a mistake on one of them and i had to redo it so i'm gonna go ahead and attach them together and also attach the lining and i'm also leaving about an inch off so that i can be able to attach the zipper later on And now I have all the sleeves done. I've also attached the back pieces as well. And I also went ahead and attached the front bodies piece. And now I am moving into the bust piece. I'm going to start by doing 
the button holes there's two button holes there for the string and i'm also going to create a casing for the strings to go through And here I'm making the strings. I actually made them a little bit thicker in the beginning. I think this were like one inch. They were very, very big. I then later on remove them and make them thinner. So here I'm just showing you guys how I made them. And I also turned them with like a loop turner and fit them through the casing with a safety pin. So now I'm going to go ahead and gather the bottom of the bust piece from notch to notch and then once I'm done with that I will attach it to the bodies. And next I'm going to stitch the raw edges inside the lining and I actually did this by hand. And now moving to the sleeves, I'm gathering the top from notch to notch and I'm also going to close them. Once I'm done closing them, I will then go ahead and attach them to the bodies. And after attaching them to the bodies, I just finished the raw edges with a zigzag stitch. Apologies for my pin cushion, it keeps getting in my shorts. So I only saw this now when I was editing, but it's really, really annoying. And And so after I was done attaching the sleeves, I did zigzag the edges and then create a casing for the elastic. I didn't show the you guys the elastic in the beginning, but I uh, will show it to you guys right here. It's like a three millimeter elastic and I just fit it in with the safety pin and secure it and then finish the casing and the sleeves were done. And now moving to the skirts, I am joining all the 14 panels of skirts, which is the seven of the main fabric and seven of the lining fabric. And for this part, you also need to make sure that you're matching your knots because there's a lot of pieces and it's easy to make a mistake and attach the wrong pieces together.
and now I've pinned together the skirts pieces and the bodies I basically sandwiched the bodies inside the two skirts and the skirts are right sides facing and the bodies is inside so I am going to go ahead and stitch all three layers together is which is actually the four layers together and i'm also leaving about two inches on each side so i can be able to attach the zipper and also be able to tuck in the lining once i'm done and now i'm attaching the zipper and once i was done with the zipper i went ahead and finished attaching the lining to the zipper also hemming the bottom of the skirts and finishing the slit So I'm done making my first dress and it looks amazing, it fits great. The adjustment that I made was the sleeves. They were a little bit long and because this fabric is a lot flowy than what they used, it's, it wasn't like puffing up, it was kind of just like collapsing down. So I decided to cut off, I think about like three inches. Everything looks great. I am wearing a strapless bra. You're gonna need a strapless bra for this kind of dress. And I will link down the pattern for this dress. You can go and print it out, it's free. I'm so excited about this series that I'm doing with like my uh, holiday wardrobes. And I can't wait to share the next one with you guys. It's going to be another dress. And in the end, I will show you guys all the items once I'm done with all of them so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye